All right. So let's look at another question, another physics question on Newton's law of gravitation. Okay. The question here says two particles of masses 0.20 kilogram and 0.30 kilogram are placed 0.15 meters apart. A third particle of mass 0.050 kilogram is placed between them on the line joining the first two particles. Calculate the gravitational force on the third particle if it is placed 0.050 meters from the 0.30 kilogram. Okay. Um, okay, so for this question here, first things first, I'll try to sketch a diagram to solution. Solution. Let me try to sketch the diagram for this. All right, solution for this. Let's sketch this diagram here. So you have two masses, 0 0.2. So I'm taking off the 0 here. So the mass is simply 0 0.2, right? 0 0.20 and 0 0.2 are the same thing. Also, 0 0.3 and 0 0.30 are the same thing. All right, so that means I'll take my first mass there. Let's call the first mass M1 as being 0 0.2 kilogram, same as 0 0.20. Also the second mass M2, so mass M2 has been equal to um, 0 0.30, which is same thing as 0 0.3 kilogram. So we have this. Okay, so let me let's get this diagram here. First things first, um, I'll just try to sketch this, get the diagram for this from here to here. All right, let's move this a bit. Okay, so I'll call this point here. Let this be the position for M1. So M1 is here. Okay, let this be the position for M2. So have M2 here. All right, so we have M1 and M2. Um, the next question here says, okay, they said M1 and M2 is 0 0.5 meters apart. Okay, that means distance from, let's take from M2, M1, so I'll just draw this down here. Also draw this down here. So distance from M1 to M2, which is this, this distance here between m1 and m2 um okay these two okay so they give us this value here distance between them is 0 0.15 meters apart all right so from here to here is about 0 0.15 meters apart okay what's the next in here next in here says um, a third particle of mass 0 0.050 kilogram is placed between them on the line joining the first two particles. Okay, calculate the gravitational force on the third particle if it is placed. Now look at this 0 0.05 meters from the 0 0.3 kilogram. 0, 0 0.3 is m2. So that's saying 0 0.3 m2 mass 3, that's m3, is placed. Let's use this one here. So this is m3. I'm giving this. And you are told that the distance from M3 to the 0 0.3 kilogram mass, which is M2, distance from M3 to M2, as you can see here, um, this year, all right, this year, you are told that the distance is about 0 0.05 meters, right? 0 0.05 and 0 0.050 meters are the same thing, okay? All right, you ask to find the force on the mass M3. That's what you ask to find. And before we do that, what we have to do here is to get the distance between M1 and M3. All right, distance between M2 and M3, 0 0.05 meters. What is the distance between M1 and M3? So let's get the distance here. So you're looking for this particular distance from here to here. Um, that, should be hard, that shouldn't be hard to find, All right? So to get that distance there, all you have to do is simply subtract. So that is distance here becomes um, my total distance, which is 0 0.15 minus the one I have here, which is about 0 0.05. And if I subtract this, this should give you this gives you about 0 0.1 in meters. So this distance here is 0 0.1 meters. All right. So we've now gotten the distance between M1 and M3, as well as between M2 and M3. 
uh, let's define m3 anyways so we said m3 from the question there it's equal to um, m3 is here 0 0.050 that's 0 0.05 i said you can ignore the data zero so we have this all right it's the same thing you can add the zeros if you want to would have the same answer all right so basically we have this as the setup for the question let's now go into solving this question now in this case here you actually find the force on m3 note that the force on m3 in this case will be the force between m3 and m1 and also the force between m3 and m2 right so find the force between m3 and m1 and combine it to the force between m3 and m2 so for a question like this your formula will be the total force on m3 right so let's call this m3t will be equal to the force between mass m1 and m3 plus the force between mass m2 and m3 basically this is how you solve this question this, this will be your formula so how do we get each of this recall that we can say recall recall that um, the value of f is equal to g right m1 if you have two forces it's the first force multiplied by the second force all over distance separating them squared all right so if you use this for m1 and m3 we would have that f3 total so f3 total will be equal to for the force between mass 1 and 3 your formula becomes um this of here the formula becomes g m1 m3 all over distance between them which in this question here if you look at the distance between them is 0 0.1 meters or let's call this r1 okay let's call this r1 as this let's call this r2 as this so all over r1 um all over r1 squared plus let's get for distance between uh, let's get for f23 f23 becomes g of course just a constant the universal gravitational constant g m2 m3 all over r2 all squared r2 is the distance you can see here between m3 and m2 that's a distance all right let's impute values and get this so this is equal to the value of the first g there this one here is 6.67 so i have 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 so this is g into m1 um m1 it's um 0 0.2 kilogram okay so it comes into 0 0.2 into m3 m3 0 0.05 okay all over the distance between them which if you look at this distance between them as you can see here is 0 0.1 meters you can see here so i have 0 0.1 meters so all over 0 0.1 all squared what i have here is the expression for this particular one here okay so it becomes plus all right let's take plus so this plus let's take the next one there which is now this one here gm to m3 um g is again 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 g into m2 m2 the value is about that, that was 0 0.3 yep so that's into 0 0.3 into m3 m3 0 0.05 that was the value okay all over we said r2 squared r2 squared r2 distance between m3 and m2 that's 0.05 that becomes 0.05 squared 0.05 all squared so we have this all right all right so all we have to do here is just let's punch this so i'll get my calculator and punch this and see what my value is all right so if i punch this um i have 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 this times 0.2 times 0.05 all over 0 0.1 squared this gives you about the answer here is about 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 so you have this answer here this plus let's look at the next thing there
So next up here I have um, 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.05 all divided by 0 0.05 all squared. And this gives me about um, 0 0.05 squared. That gives you about your final answer here becomes 4.00, that's 4 times 10 to the power minus 10. So I have this as my answer. Okay. All right. So I'll proceed to add this up. All right. So you can just open a bracket, type this in, close the bracket, type plus, open your next bracket, um, type this in, close the bracket. Let's see what you have. So that would be equal to um, 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11. This plus, open the bracket, you have 4.00 times 10 to the power um, minus 10. Times 10 to the power minus 10. This one here. All right. So if you punch this, my answer is 4.67 times 10 to the power minus 10. Since you're looking for force, all right, you're looking for force. That's the total force on mass 3. So Ft, F3 total or F3t, the force will be in Newton. The S for force is Newton. So basically, this would be your answer, 4.67 times 10 to the power minus 10 Newton. So that's how you solve this question, okay? All right, guys, so I've prepared over 100 videos on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science subjects, okay? For each of these videos, I've tutored past questions for the last 10 years on each of the topics, okay? To gain access to these videos, simply visit my website, www.jonahimmanuel.com forward slash courses, all right? And then you can get the jam slash YA classes, okay? You can also get it from my channel membership all right so you can see the jam slash yake channel membership i'll leave a link to access both the courses and a link to my website as well as how to join my channel membership in the video description so check the video description you see a link to access my website and also to join my channel membership all right to get um exclusive videos on physics chemistry mathematics and the likes okay all right then if you enjoyed this video don't forget to as usual hit the like button all right to so like this video um leave a comment so if you have any questions leave it in the comment sections also suggest other topics you'd want us to do don't forget to also subscribe to this channel if it's your first time please do well to hit the subscribe button and of course the bell icon hit the bell icon choose all so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content then finally share this video to your friends so that they can also learn thank you and see you in our next class.